so hello and welcome to um lesson five so we are studying topology one so in this video we'll be talking about three m um, two things limit points also known as accumulation points and we also talk about closure okay so we are doing this as far as topology is concerned so let's just take the first concept which is limit points or accumulation points so let's take the definition so it says let a be a subset of a topological space a point small x which is in big s okay which is in our set x is said to be a limit point or accumulation point or cluster point so another name for limit point is accumulation point and we can also have cluster points okay so note that so let me start it says let a be a subset of a topological space a point x in the set x is said to be a limit point of e if every this key point is very important if every open set u containing x contains a point of e different from x okay so take a look at the definition okay so I'll be explaining that with a lot of examples, okay? So, as we solve our examples, you realize that the, um, the understanding to the definition will come, okay? So, let's take an example. So, consider the topological space where the set X is given by A, B, C, D, E, and we have this particular topology right then we have a to be a m so the subset a to be a b c and the question is if we should find the limit points of a okay all right so we have to solve it so let's look at the definition so let a be a subset of a topological space a point small x in big x so that means that when you are finding for the limit point, we have to come here and consider each of the points in our set X to see whether it's a limit point or not. So solution. We know the set X is A, B, C, D, E. So we have five elements and we are coming to check for which of them is a limit point of A which is given by abc so it happens to be a subset of x okay so let's just take the point a so when we take the point a the first question we have to ask ourselves is that what are the open sets which contain a okay so i hope you know what open sets are in our previous videos we've been talking about open sets so open sets are members of our topological space or our topology tau. Okay, so in this particular example, for instance, all the elements here are open sets. So since we are taking the point A, we have to list down all the open sets which contain A. Okay. So you can see we have X, we have let me use a different marker so, so we have x we have a we have this here and we also okay we have these three okay so all open sets containing a are we have x a and a c d then before a will be element point there is a condition here so from the definition it says every open set u containing x contains a point of a different from x okay so that means that before a can be a limit point now we have all open sets containing a here 
each of them has to contain an element aside a which is in capital a equals so which is in the subset a b c so for instance when we take x we know that x is given by um, a b c d e right so aside a we have b c which is in a but when we take this a here we realize that aside that a we don't have anything else okay so it means that a is not a limit point okay so let me read the definition here from the definition since a does not contain any other element in a subset a aside a itself it implies a is not a limit point of the subset a i hope you got it don't worry um let's solve let's solve the rest okay the understanding will come so now we are checking for the point b so we have to list down all open sets containing b and they are x and the set x and um b c d e that's exit okay so now we could see that when we take the set x so don't forget that we are looking for the limit point of a equals a b c so we can see that in x aside having b we also have other elements in a which are a c so that means with the first one our condition is satisfied then in b c d e2 aside having b we have c right c here which is an element of the subset a so sorry oh sorry so from definition it implies b is element point of what a since all the open sets containing b aside containing the element b itself they have other elements of a okay so that means b is element point then now we come to the point c so we look for all open sets containing c and they are what we can see here so when we should take this set for instance so cd we can see that apart from c right we don't have any other elements which is in a because when you take this c away the remaining element here is d and d is not in a because a is a b c so this breaks the condition so it means c can't be a limit point of a right so hence c is not a limit point of a then now let's come to d so we list down all the open sets containing d and the hour we can see here so we realize that in when you take s in x aside d we have a b c which are all in a in c d aside d we have c which is in a in a c d aside d we have a c which are all in a then in b c d e we have b c which are all in a as well so that means the conditions are satisfied in all of them okay so it means these elements point of a then we go to the last point e so we have two open sets containing e and they are the set x itself and b c d e so you could see that with x aside e we have a b c which are all in a and for b c d e aside e we have b c which are all in a as well so since the condition is satisfied in all of them it means that e is element point of a so you could see that when we check for a b c d e a wasn't element point b was c wasn't d was and e was so that means that the limit point sorry that means that the limit points of a are b d and e okay so these are the limit points 
So that's how you find the limit point of topological spaces. All right. So let's move on to our last concept. That's closure. So there is a proposition here. So it says, let A be a subset of a topological space. Then A is closed in that topological space if and only if A contains all its limit points. Okay. There's a proposition you can take note of. Now let's take a definition for the closure. So let A be a subset of a topological space. Then the set A union A prime consisting of A and all its limit points is called the closure of A and is noted by what we can see here. All right, so you write the A and there is a bar here. So note the complement of sorry the closure of a is the intersection of all closed sets containing a okay so with everything that we've read so far this is the most important thing that we are interested in because that will help us to easily find a closure okay so the closure of a is the intersection of all closed sets containing a so you can go through the definition but let's move ahead and solve some example to make it clearer to you okay so we have a set x and we have a topology tau then the question is if we should find the closure of b the closure of the set ac and the closure of bd okay so note what i've circled here the closure of A is the intersection of all closed sets containing A. So that means that before we can find the closure of any of these three, we have to first list down the closed set containing those things. We have to know what closed sets are and how to find them. If not, it's very difficult for us, okay? And we've treated that in our previous video, okay? One of our previous videos. So. Solution, release down our x and release down our topology tau. So you could see that um, all the elements here are open sets. Okay, so we have to get the closed sets from them. And then, um, so is to find the closure of a particular set, we find all the closed sets containing that set and then select the smallest. So, from the question, these were the elements in tau, okay, and they are all open sets, okay. So recall that when we are treating closed set, we said a set um a subset E of X. So a subset E of X is closed if its complement S minus E is open. So that means that when you have the set x here, its complement to be x minus x, which should be the empty set. The empty set it will be s minus the empty set, which should be x. When you have the set a, it will be s minus a, which will be b c d e. So this one to the same concept, and we have these ones. So they happen to be the closed sets. Okay. So the closed sets are the empty set, the full set x. The set B C D E, the set A B E, the set B E, and the set A. Okay, so these are our closed sets. So the first question says we should find the closure of B. So to find the closure of B, we first find all closed sets containing B and select the smallest. I think that's the right thing to use. It's more appropriate than the lowest so we select the smallest so the closed set containing b are you can see we have the closed set here and you can see this contains b in it this contains b in it this contains b in it 
and this also contains B in it. So, um, the closet containing B are X, A, B, E, B, E, and B, C, D, E. And you can see out of these set that we have here, the smallest is B, E. Alright, so that means that the closure of B is B, E. So to find the closure of AC, that means we have to find the closed set containing AC. And in this case, it just happens to be one. Okay, when you take the um, why is that? when you take the closed sets here. Um so when you take the closed set here, you could see that um AC is only found in this one, right? X. So You see, the closed set containing AC is only X, hence the closure of AC is equal to the full set X itself, okay. Then, um, we go to the next one, which is the closure of BD. So, the closed set containing BD are X and BCDE. You can check it from the list that we had um, up there. And the smallest of them is B, C, D, E, right? So it means the closure of B, D is B, C, D, E. So that's it with um, the element point or accumulation point or cluster point and the closure of topological spaces, okay? So if you didn't understand anything, you can always go over the video and show the understanding will come. So our next video will be on interior and exterior points as far as topological spaces are concerned. So thank you very much. I'm Boido Canrino, the final year student of mathematics at KNUSD. Okay. Please don't forget to like the video and please subscribe to the channel. Thank you very much.